Calisthenics. Get it limber. That's right. You got to get loose. Get the heart rate up. Mm hmm. Brad, Ben. Yo. This is the Division 2. Uh, this. This is it? Yeah, this is it right here. God this grant me the confidence to do jumping jacks while wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Have you never have you never done jumping jacks while wearing sunglasses? I, I, can you confidently say that? I can, I'm pretty sure. I'm on the record. You will never find footage of me doing jumping jacks while wearing sunglasses. They'll fly right off. All right. Well, we should set that up and get you guys to do some jumping jacks. Why does with your sunglasses guy, on? Your guy kind of looks like um, a, uh, a carny who got on American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's not that's not entirely wrong. Uh, I think I went with, into the character creator and I was just like, I want to make this guy look like kind of a dick. Yeah, somebody who would survive a apocalyptic purge. Yeah. Because um, you know good people aren't going to make it. <laughs> the football face paint is a nice touch. Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a, I don't know. Maybe I'm just re like reaching here. There's like a Kurt Cobain meets Lemmy thing <laughs> happening here that I just, I don't know. Um, so you're saying a good future ahead. Yes, this is Washington, D.C. Uh, this is the theater settlement. And uh, what's, let's see, what's the story so far? Uh, they put a virus on the money. A bunch of people got sick in New York. Who's they? Uh, there's a guy, what's his name? Archibald Kruger. I don't know, I don't remember his name. His name is part of the Division lore. But uh, he has not come up really so far in this game because the Division 2 is set some months after the initial outbreak and uh, society has basically collapsed uh, we're here in D.C., and everything I've been doing so far has been in service of, like, getting this theater settlement back on its feet, and I have just completed the missions that kind of resulted into being fully upgraded. Uh, and as a result, the second settlement, which you see is a pip off there in the distance, has opened up. Oh, we should go check that out. Yeah. Um, well, shoot your way through D.C. Yeah, well, instead of just shooting our way, how about we... Uh, fast travel our way okay. to as close as we can get and then run yeah, the rest of the way. Sure. We'll go to the White House. How about we go to the White House? Yeah, let's just fast travel to the White House. Let's fast travel to the White House. Uh, the White House is your central base. You'll go back there to kind of unlock uh, your character upgrades and... Uh, yeah, there's a, some amount of stuff you can only do there, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some things are uh, replicated with terminals at all the different settlements and some stuff you can just do from uh, the in-game menu. Um, but actually, like, buying upgrades and perks and stuff like that, you, you do here. Actually, since we're coming back here, I'll, I'll run in real quick and and show off what the perk system is. You have a lot of options at your disposal, and I guess I would say that I have not found those options to be especially compelling so far um, in terms of how the tech tree works. So, uh, you have these, uh, you, you, as in the first division, you have skills that you equip, and these are, you know, these will be items and, and, and skill platforms is kind of what they're called, calling them here. Um, I have uh, a drone that will fly out and shoot people. Sounds useful. And I have this uh, hive grenade that drops armor replenishing juice. Ooh, ooh. Uh, which has been very useful. Do you just throw that at your feet? Yeah. Man, I should have gotten that. Well, you you get them all eventually. Yeah, sure. So, uh, sure. but there are variants to each one. So it doesn't the, this grenade doesn't necessarily have to do armor replenishment. Uh, it can also let's see here. It can send out drones that attack. Micro drones. Micro drones. Sorry. It Tiny. Can, it can revive enemies. So if you or revive uh, allies. So if you don't want to run over there and hold down the square button, you can get someone up with a grenade. That actually sounds incredibly useful. Well, the, the cooldowns are what they are. Yeah, fair. Like that yes. might be. Uh, th that might be a waste of a slot in some cases. I, I took um, the, uh, the this one. No, I took booster. The I took the distraction hive. I forget which one it is. Over here. Uh, yeah, that's that's this that one. This stinger. one because it'll yeah. incapacitate. But yeah, the cooldown is like five minutes, I think. So th th there's a there's a trick to that. If you let your your drone or any of this other stuff just sit out there for its full time, you will get the full cooldown. Okay. But at any point, you can hold down the skill button to blow up your drone or blow up your grenade or whatever. And you get a reduced cooldown for doing Wait, so. Wait, did they ever tell you that? It was in the first game that way. Okay, I don't, if I remember, I don't right. remember but, them uh, but I, spelling that out. That's yeah. useful information. Uh, and then you have perks, which these are passive upgrades, more or less. And uh, so you're, you're getting this shade tech currency uh, kind of a lot as you play. Um, and this is the part I would say it, it, it hasn't, it, like most of this stuff doesn't seem that great. Uh, they've reworked how weapon mods work. If you remember from the first game, they were all individual items. Now it's just like, you spend these perk points to unlock magazines, 
and grips and scopes and stuff like that. There are still scope blueprints you'll find out in the world and all that other stuff. So that even this stuff is really just basic stuff. Um, but this is going to be stuff like, oh, I want more, um, more grenades. I want uh, more uh, inventory space, that sort of stuff. And so th- these don't really feel like game changers per se, but they are nice to have. It's kind of like quality things. of life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I just unlocked a shooting range here, but we'll, we'll maybe we'll, ah, you know what? It's highlighted on the map. I want to see it. I want to see the shooting range. I hear it's really good. Um, oh, Kelso is there. Well, that's where we're, we're where we're going. Oh no, that's, she's at the settlement. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, let's look at uh, just weapon stats here. I, th- I think that they could be probably be better. You get damage rounds per minute um, and and magazine size. You actually get this graph about damage drop off over here on the right, which is really cool. I think it's a cool way to say like, hey, here's the basic range of a weapon, and then what the damage fall off is going to be if you're shooting beyond that range. Um, yeah, which they, is something a lot of games do, but right. you know, like they don't always illustrate it. I yeah, think that's like, kind of neat. Like Destiny does that, but doesn't expose it well at yeah. all. So like seeing it visually is, is right. really useful here. But. Uh, these damage numbers end up, being, end up being weird though, because like you know the the low fire rate weapons usually have uh, higher damage. Like the sniper rifle is is a lot higher than you know this submachine gun. Well, that's level three. So that's a bad comparison. But this it's it's you know double this LMG. But the rate of fire is such that maybe this LMG is going to be a better, you know, depending on the types of enemies you're facing and the range you're facing them at and so on. Uh, I wish that they were a little bit better about just like raw damage output um, at, than, than they are. Because yeah. some of the stuff like 3.7k damage sounds high, but it's, you know, it comes at a, you know, a 3.7 second reload time and all this right. other stuff. Like if there was just a raw damage per second, especially when you get into weapon modding. Uh, which, you know, uh, all the weapon mods are trade-offs now. Um, where, okay, this red dot sight is 20% accuracy, but you take a hit to your crit chance. Uh, so anything you equip on a gun is going to be that type of trade. Uh, which is interesting, because you can kind of, you know, you can you can then mitigate some of the trade-offs with other trade-offs and and all that sort of stuff, uh, which is, which is kind of neat. Or you can min-max it the way video games are intended. Yeah, exactly. And so here is where your DPS is. You know? Uh, so we get it here on the the shooting range, and we can reset set the shooting range. Uh, you know, it's gonna do it at range. You're gonna kind of so that this is how you would get your like real world sense of how these weapons actually are. Yeah, that's and that's cool. cool. Like I, I feel like if a game is gonna have a shooting range, it should be good. And yeah, this is good. Yeah. Um, and that, just, that takes into account, like, uh, props. I can see one problem with the raw DPS number being like, well, at certain distances, that's going to change, but this, you literally see, like, okay, at 30 feet, I'm doing this. At 50 feet, I'm right. doing this. And, and I guess I just wish that it would uh, put some of these numbers, even if the numbers aren't going to be perfectly accurate because of the range considerations and, and that sort of stuff, I feel like I would rather have some of this information in the field, especially if you're picking up a new weapon. Yeah. Yeah, rolling all the stats up into a single umbrella number would be very useful. It'd be nice, uh, especially because like then if you go into the dark zone, uh, which is the oh, there's a multiplayer uh, dark zone, um, which we'll get into. Uh, all the numbers change, so suddenly you start doing like seven thousand points of damage every time you shoot something, and you're like, wait, what? Oh, right, okay, the dark zone changes the way. Uh, all the weapons fire, or, or all the weapons work damage-wise because players of different levels are going to be there competing. And, you know, it, it's it's not as clean as I wish it was. Uh, it's not at a glance is this gun better than this gun, yeah. uh, which which is what I wish it had more of. But uh, but I, I think even even that's a lot of trade-offs. Like I, I I think they just they made some choices that I think are effective, but um, but you have to dig in a little more than yeah. than. Than you might, you might think compared to how other a lot of other games handle this sort of thing. Uh, this might be a mistake, but I've I've been assuming that anything that is the same rarity and level is probably equivalent ish. You know, like a like a say a level four green sniper rifle is probably going to be, a, you know, same tier as a yeah, level four green shotgun. Like maybe, you can kind of just pick uh, what you like there. Yeah, you can kind of there's there's definitely a pick what you like sort of element to it for sure. Uh, just depending on how you play, you're going to be more effective with. But, the types of weapons you're comfortable right. with. But then you start getting weapons at different levels, right. like different rarities, and then you can't compare. Anymore. Yeah. How'd you know those were bad guys? They just looked bad. Been waiting long enough. We 
They're cursed. Oh! No! Oh. Don't let them do that. Yeah. Everyone has drones, dude. What the heck? Yeah. That's why you got micro drones. That's cooler, I guess. Uh, so they've, they've really shaken things up with how health recovery works and stuff works in a cover shooter in a way that uh, I think makes the game a little more difficult but is really interesting. Yeah, I agree. Um, the, uh, the glowing red uh, blocks above my health there are my armor. That armor does not recharge um, in the middle of a battle. It recharges now that we're done with the battle. Uh, you have, uh, if we can get the... Is there a way? Okay. So you see I have six armor kits uh, in my inventory there. At any point, I can hold right on my D-pad to replenish my armor, uh, which means in a firefight, also your health melts the F away. Yeah. Actually, the armor does too. Yeah. Um, you, you cannot withstand a lot of damage. Um, so you have to manually back off and heal by holding right on the D-pad to replenish your armor. Your health will eventually recharge on its own, but it's pretty slow, and, and like I said, you don't have a lot of it. Uh, so this means like you don't just back off and recharge and then get right back in. You have to back off, manually heal up your armor, and then get back in. And it seems like the game is pretty good at forcing you out of yeah. that cover. Yeah, yes. Enemies will force you out of cover with <laughs> grenades. Uh, they will flush you out. They will flank you out. Uh, the, the melee enemies run up on you faster than it seems like they are, but they're suddenly they're right there, and you're like, oh, God. <sighs> seems like you have to deal with explosive toy cars now. Also yes, coming also at you. explosive toy cars. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, the, the enemies really get on you. Yeah. In multiple ways in this yeah. game. Yeah. Um, I it's didn't find of... the first game to be all that difficult, at least going through the initial story and stuff. Like, end game, it, you know, it definitely forced you to be smarter about how you play and, and all that. But um, it's, uh, it's difficult to play alone. What is that question mark? Uh, that's a, there are random events that will happen out in the world. Uh, it'd be like a public execution or something like that. Like a, basically an event I can go engage with. Oh God. Oh boy. I didn't even know I was there. Now they do though. Huh. The hive mind has noticed your presence. Yeah. Who was that? Moving the person you were shooting? No. Oh, yeah. yeah! Yeah, you're shooting me! Yeah! Finally! They're just here for the kicks, man. Ugh. Man. <laughs> Damn. Where did I put that mag? Bottom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's just keep moving here in the direction of this new settlement. I'm excited to see what's here. Um, now you can get a game room going for them. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it, you know, there's, there are plenty of side missions out in the world, like those question marks that'll be the kind of, um, you know, kind of repeatable events type thing, or the thing it'll be like, oh, they'll, they're strewn about the world a little bit. Uh, there's also a lot of kind of one-off, very crafted side missions. And then you have the full-on main story missions as well. Um, all right, I think we just crossed into a higher level area. Okay, no, those are level nine. That's not a problem. Can show off some of the abilities? Yeah, sure. Yeah, what do you have on right now? I got this drone. Okay. Um, so Man, it'll, it'll go city. out and do stuff, but I can also just, I can make it target specific enemies. Oh. Does it have health? Yes, it does. Tactical roll. That's right. How's the melee attack in this game? I've never actually hit anybody with it. It's not great. Okay. It's not a good counter to the baton rushers. No. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna blow up this. Well, we still got enemies out, so. Oh boy. All right, let's blow up our drone. Little Moko actually needs help though. So we blew up the drone, and now I, the drone only has an 80-second cooldown. Okay. I think if I let it go all the way, it'd be like 180 or 200 seconds or something. Uh, there are uh, items that will have skill cooldown reduction on them and stuff like that. Ah! Oh. Oh, no. There's animals everywhere. Yeah. 
So I see there are uh, uh, request calls. Is that the thing where if you die, you can get other people to help you? Yeah, so actually at any point, I can go into the map and hit call for backup. Uh -huh. uh, and that will basically open my game up to other players and, and you kind of form a group on the fly. Um, it's a cool idea. Yeah. Is it pull from just like a squad? What is, where does it pull people from? Well, it, it's like I got that incoming call on my lower left from mm -hmm. a person who is presumably nearby. Okay, they're not like on your friends list no. or in your clan? Uh, they can be, um, yeah. but... Uh, Sometimes it's just a complete rando. Yes, exactly. Okay. And there's someone out there saying like, hey, let's team up and do some stuff. Was that in the first game? No. Okay, because that, that's a, not a bad idea for a game like this. When it works, it's amazing. Yeah. Because like I said, you know, the, the game is not easy, yeah. and, and you want to play in a group, because as soon as you have multiple players and you're able to kind of outflank the enemies, like you really sort of turn the tables on the difficulty. Um, like you, you really start rolling over enemies quickly Yeah. Uh, compared to playing alone. So like you, you kind of do want to play in a group. And I know, Brad, you mentioned on the Bombcast that people joining in will, like, if you all do a side quest together, you will get that reward in your game. Yeah, yeah it seems decent about tracking progress that you do in other people's stuff. I, I will say every request for help I've gotten, I've been in the middle of, like, a story mission that I didn't want to, like, give up my progress yeah, on. Yeah, that, so. definitely, that definitely happens. Um, but also, yeah, like, I, you know, I had a hard time with a mission and said, oh, screw it, I'm going to... Open it up, had two players join, we finished that. It sticks the group together after you finish that event. And so you just kind of group up and, and can kind of do whatever. The leader of the group sets what objectives you're taking on and that sort of stuff. That's and cool. Did you notice that patrolling NPC you passed back there? Yeah. Have you figured out what those callouts actually mean? I think it's just like do? flavor. It's okay. just like, hey, what are, what are they doing? Like, some, you know, there are control points in the world that are collecting supplies. Yeah. And so you'll see like friendly NPCs walking routes that that eventually bring them back to a friendly control point. Yeah, and they get labeled they're turning in food. Or right. You know. Yeah, like I've seen NPCs that are labeled like returning resources to base, and it made me think like, am I supposed to escort this guy? Or, but it doesn't seem like that stuff does anything. Yeah, not necessarily. Uh, all right. Uh, but yeah, you know, there. I presumably this story will eventually take a turn into the kind of larger division of verse. <laughs> but so far, it really has just been like, man, DC's messed up. We need to help rebuild society, and so everything's been like personal stories of my daughter has been kidnapped by the evil gang. Help. Um, what from the original game? Like, what do you remember about the division verse? Well, there, there's there are things about like, hey, the, you know, the person that inflicted the world with this virus and you know trying to combat it and trying to come up with solutions for it I and, see. and that sort of stuff uh there's also a, a rogue division agent who has a name oh so those i was going to ask if those Keener? are i was going to ask if, I if those are different people uh the, vi the virus guy is separate from the bad agent right yes okay all right so here's a vest that is not as good as the vest we're currently wearing from the looks of things shard it We'll just we'll, we'll loot it as junk and deal with it later. Uh, yeah, you can deconstruct it into crafting materials or sell it for money. Uh, you need both money and crafting materials to craft, so both have value. Hey. Hi. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's something to celebrate, but you know, if you're if you're an action junkie. If okay. someone ran up and shot your friend and gave you an opportunity to get into the shit, maybe you would be like, hell yeah. It's like those guys in Mad Max that just like get off on Carnage. Mm -hmm. DC, I'm not, hugely populated with people who get off on Carnage. That's, that's definitely true. Uh, I'm, I'm not super deep into the story, but I, I, I wish they did a little more with the storytelling on a personal level. Like when you get to the settlements. Everything I've seen has just been super boilerplate so far. Yeah, it, it is. And, and like, you know, your character doesn't speak. Um, so it's just a lot of like, oh, you're here to help clean things up. Hey, man, thanks. <laughs> Go out and do these four side missions. Yeah. That like, are hey, all, you're really making a difference around here. That are all kind of the same thing. And then there's just a lot of, like, bodies next to stuff. Yeah. You know? Uh, 
Yeah, so I, I feel like they could probably do a better job. Um, you know, like Collapse of Society is good. It's a good backdrop for some just really ugly drama. Yeah, I don't feel like they get a lot out of that, from what I've seen. This settlement is all fucked up. I bet by the time I finish missions in this area, or actually not even in the area, but I bet as soon as I finish the missions for this settlement, it'll look a lot better. No way. Wait, is there anybody here? I'm here to meet someone, so. Huh. Yeah, you're here to meet Kelso. You haven't been with us long, but you are so What? All right. I assume it's the same Kelso from the beginning of the game. Ah, yeah. that's where the people are. Got to talk to this great. Are you Kelso? Mortar attack. Chemical. Seven survivors. Yes, Manny. Seven total. The sheriff just came in. Can you get these people to safety? I'm gonna go kill the bastards that did this. You're safe now. I promise. The attack came from Jefferson Plaza. You know what to do. Any sense of like <laughs> dire urgency and somberness Wait. is lost as soon as it shows your kill face. Them all. Yeah. Wait, I thought she wanted you to get the people out of here while she killed them. You know what to do. <laughs> that's that's kind of a perfect example of what I mean. Yeah, like every, exactly. Every it, cutscene I've seen is basically just a glorified way of giving you the mission objective, and there's just kind of no background. Like every scene right. can end in the character saying, or, give them hell. Yeah, also, like, you know, I, I, you unlock this by finishing a mission that is rated at level 10, and she's like, go take care of this. But it's a level 14 mission, so don't take care of it for several more hours. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah some of the mission distribution and, and like things that they present as dire, that then you're just like, oh, I can't do this anytime soon. Um, in fact, I will do this other level 12 mission well before I tackle this level 14 one. Um, yeah, it, some of that stuff is... Like this, this structurally very strange. Um, also, I'm you know I'm here in this area that is like level 15 to 18. It's, it's got a level job. 24 not mission in it. Uh, you know, like it's this is a I high can, level area I shouldn't even be in, other than like the story has put me here. I can kind of understand forcing you to go through like a zone where maybe you shouldn't be fighting everyone right, you see, yeah. but then immediately having you leave and go across the map to another place that you also can't technically go to. It's, yeah, like that's that's kind of the weird thing. Seems it's like, like it's artificially inflating the the campaign to a degree of just like, well, you know, we'll just have you kind of run around. Right, and, and you know, like there are side missions and other things to do here that, you know, the side missions will, like this one will earn me a blueprint as well as some of that shade tech currency you used to unlock perks. Um, and you know, of course you're getting XP the entire time as well. So, you know, there's there's value Materials doing. And money. And, yeah, yeah, there's, there's value doing all the side stuff. Also the side stuff's been okay in terms of, you know, it has as much story, I guess, as some of the main missions do. Uh, Agent, we got a situation. So why don't we do this mall mission? Uh, we'll Problem fast travel to this point near here. Because uh, this is a level 11 mission, and I'm level 11. <laughs> yeah, but to, uh, from what I've seen, the high points in this game so far are the combat, which is more engaging than kind of cover shooter combat ought to be at this point. Yeah. yeah. And and just kind of chasing the, the loot dragon. Yeah. Because the loot stuff is handled pretty well in general. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it is too. It, it's, it's got a decent crafting system. I feel like I'm crafting better gear, um, more usable gear than I did in the first game. So that, that feels like a, a better setup. Yeah. Like, um, like the gameplay stuff generally seems pretty good in this game, but it's kind of all the narrative backdrop is it's, pretty yeah, bland. It, it's bland. It, it's not necessarily that it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's that, you know, functional. It, it's, there's, there's probably a better story to be told, and, and I hope that they get there by the end of this campaign. How did, how did the first game do with that? Okay. It, yeah. it, it was fairly generic, I, yeah. I'll say. But, you know, by the end of it, it was like, oh, there's an evil agent. So, like, they dangle a thing near the end uh, where you're like, okay. And then so far, like, they haven't really touched on that much again other than I found a collectible that was a message from that guy of all the cell phones to find on the ground in DC, I happened to find the one that allowed me to hear that guy like thinking through some of his tactics. And it's just, it's a strange, it's a strange game. 
They seem to also be heavily focused on having a lot of endgame stuff, like right out the gate. I know last division. Yeah, that uh, was that was definitely a problem with the last game. Is, yeah. is that there wasn't really much to do. But this um, one, it seems like they've already kind of cooked up some ideas of. How yeah, so when, when you hit the level cap, you'll you'll unlock a specialization, and that's where you kind of are choosing a class almost, and and specializing in, in different things. That, that's stuff that they, I think they got to in the first game, but. Uh, and you know there are like specialist weapons like a crossbow and stuff like that. Right. You, you know you'll get, launcher. Yeah, you'll get like as end game. Um, uh, options. Sounds bad. I'm just gonna Don't leave. go in there. Hey, now, what are you guys doing? What do you think about uh, throwing out a distress call, see if anybody joins up? Yeah, let's do it. Um, kind of curious to see how that works. Back have you have you put one out before? I have. Or is uh, it, is it, are, you, are people pretty good about joining? Well, so, you know, we're playing this uh, on Thursday, which yeah, is fair. the day before the game hits wide, wide release, but it is available to people that paid too much money for it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, also, it's, you know, it's noon on a Thursday. Yeah, so. fair. I want to shoot two. Some good fire and explosion stuff going on in the battles, I've found. Yeah. Ubisoft has good explosions. Well, I didn't play much of Far Cry, but it seemed to be a game that had a fair yeah. share of neat looking explosions. They do okay by that stuff. Pretty good soundtrack, actually, from what I've heard. Yeah. You know what I kind of miss from the first game is the Christmas vibe. <laughs> yeah, like well, game you, you see a little bit of that in the opening to this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because, you know, hey, that's when the virus hit, right. so all the Christmas shit is still up somewhere. Like, but, yeah. but yeah, there's not as much of it. Uh, or, you know, you don't need Christmas specifically, but just some kind of unique atmosphere. Right. I mean, I guess, I guess the atmosphere is nation's capital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's definitely the thing they're, they're trading on. Uh, it's just a little... Boring to me, though. I mean, nothing like DC has some really interesting places, but most of it's just a city. Yeah. 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 Ooh. <laughs> she was a robot. She had explosives on her. Okay. Like a robot would. Yeah. And she was a robot. Oh yeah, because she was a robot. Uh, carbon fiber. So in the first game, they had people that would walk up to you and be like, I need water. And if you had water, you could give it to them. Uh, instead of that, they've built like a whole, I don't know if I can even see it uh, really. But uh, when you take over a control point, they are collecting supplies. So at any point you can take supplies to the control point. And so it says current needs, water and screws. Um, <laughs> So you kind of take that stuff there and, and get XP for, for doing so. Uh, and then there are projects which are like, hey, do all this stuff in this zone and you'll get a bounty or some other stuff. Yeah, there's, there's just a lot of systems, a lot of currencies and keys. And, you know, the progression in the dark zone is totally separate from the progression in the, the regular zone. And there's, it's, there's a lot. <laughs> Lots to take in for sure. All right, it says I need to protect an agent and it says I'm three meters away from it. Uh, uh, is that it on the minimap? No, that's that's the the, the orange. That's the safe. Uh, that's this uh, spot that I've uh, highlighted. Uh, the safe house. I mm. think. Yeah, I would think that white pillar is it. Well, no, the that's a grenade. That's just something that an enemy dropped when I killed it. That's not even a. Oh wait, is there a usable? Cause like that's what that mark on your no okay you're right that mark is just the grenade that's not even where I'm supposed to go but it's the the protect agent Brooks yeah four meters three meters two meters mm. is this did you not protect maybe you try walking out yeah uh... <sighs> where is he is that him worse, yeah right yeah. <sighs> It says you're 17 meters away from me. If that's not the real Agent Brooks. Civilian 
forces approaching from the west. But does it what's going on? We have division agents on site. We've got a shot at taking this control point. If your operatives can help, we'd really appreciate some assistance. Shit. Cedar assault. All right. Agent, get to what this mission was. But watch your six. I've already had one agent. That means back. In this place. I'm gonna watch my six. Can't afford to lose another. Uh, I need to, you know, I've been fiddling with the colorblindness settings, which changes like the loot colors and some of the HUD stuff, and I've yet to find one that actually works for me. Because some elements just don't seem to change, like some of the pips are for like a control point out in the world. It seems like they're always just red, and that's the thing I'm trying to avoid. Sometimes the HUD line, uh, the, like, hey, or the, the, like, the GPS basically, is not super visible. Alright, let's get our drone up. You, go over there. At least flush them out. Uh, the, you, there are mods you'll unlock, or, or mods that you'll you'll find as loot uh, that are equipable on your skills as well. Which is kind of a cool idea. Um, Alright, I need to get closer. These weapons are not going to cut it. The barrel. Where? Oh, right in front. I guess you can't see it. <laughs> Down to the right. Oh, you almost have <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, up, ah, up just a little bit. This is maybe a bad idea. Right there. Yeah. Oh, that's it. There it is. Okay. Uh, also, this. <laughs> I need to stop. Oh, I, we got the close monitor. So, like, ah, oh, you know, me trying to do headshots from a distance, so I should have a, a screen close to me. But this screen is unbelievably dark. Yeah. We haven't quite figured out the brightness on those <laughs> things yet. Yeah. Other than turning the brightness all the way up. Does the color of their health bar signify anything? Oh yeah, yeah, you'll have like regular enemies and elites and okay. legendary, you know, whatever. Yeah, like I think purple is more health. Ah, shit. Yellow is an elite or something along those lines. All right, I'm gonna drop my armor thing here. Here, if you put a lot of uh, a lot of shots in an enemy's direction, it'll suppress them, which is good if you need to move up or something. You need to get a few seconds of peace. Good for co-op too, obviously. Yeah. And, you know, they've got like boss enemies that only take damage from behind and stuff like that. Yeah. It seems like some of the in-game stuff, they could come up with some pretty cool group combat scenarios. Yeah. With all the abilities and different weird enemy designs and stuff. Reload this. Ooh. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I feel like they do a better job than a lot of other cover shooters or a lot of other shooters just in general about like kind of really forcing you to use all the different tools you have at your disposal. Yeah. Yes. Um, as opposed to just like, I'm going to just skill shoot my way out of this yeah. situation. You know, it, instead it becomes like, okay, I need to be healing up because I certainly cannot withstand a lot of damage and... And I've got, you know, multiple enemies flanking me. And yeah, all stuff and picking your one cover point and just sitting there waiting for people to pop their heads up so you can shoot them is, does not cut it. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. I wonder if I can... It's probably not going to do anything, but let's give it a shot. How do I get you, up? You can climb up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. No backup yet. Yeah. I've had it go both ways. I've had, uh, it, you know, no one ever join up. But, oh, God. Damn. So stuff like that will do a bunch of damage and knock you out of cover. So you can kind of get 
almost like a stun lock situation of just like, okay, I am now going to take more damage because I've I'm doing the knockout of cover animation. Do you know if you were at full armor when that hit you? I th I was probably not quite at full armor. Okay, because that did all of your armor and half of your health off that rocket. Yeah. It's a rocket, man. They give you those uh, indicators that an enemy is winding up to throw a grenade, which is kind of cool, because if you shoot them enough, they will just drop the grenade at yep. their feet. And which blow is, themselves up. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Drone's ready. All right. Let's give it a go. Oh, these are good guys over here. That's I was like, who is shooting at this target? No one joined my game. The drone seems almost best for like, well, whatever. It, it'll eventually take out an enemy. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it annoys them in a way that flushes them out of cover, which is, which yeah. is fun. I, th I feel like it's saying something that anything that just distracts enemies in this game is pretty useful. Yeah, like yeah. that's... Like anything that just stops all of them from shooting you all the time is <laughs> right. kind of yeah. helpful because they really melt you. Okay, compounds. Sounds like a nice haul you got there, Agent. Got another group of hostiles I feel like every mission ends with like one more wave yeah. of enemies coming in than you expected. There's, yeah, there's definitely like, there's always another wave. Yeah. Uh, it's never just take the area, it's always take the area and then defend it. Yeah, so th there's a lot of opportunities to use, like, oh, if they, if they have a mounted machine gun, then you all can almost guarantee that at some point you're going to be on that and the tables will have turned. You know, yeah. th th that is exactly what this game is. Every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could see the novelty of that wearing off. Because that's always one of my favorite things in yeah. video games. It's like, oh yeah, as soon as you see a guy on a gun, it's like, I'm going to be on that thing any minute now. Still calling for backup, huh? Yeah, any minute now. Out of ammo, that's bad. That's happened to me too, surprisingly. Yeah, you get a lot of bullets. Uh, but you know, like enemies drop them, so you kind of, you know, if you're gonna hole up in cover for a good long time, then eventually you are gonna run out. Yeah, that, that almost seems like another intentional way of making you move around more. Yeah. But again, I guess, you know, credit to them for making a straight up military cover shooter interesting. Yeah. Because I, well, I was going into this, it was going to take a lot to win me uh, over. Hey, buddy. Um, this type of thing. You, you should get in cover. Like, you're wearing fucking track shorts. He's from just like, he just came out of modern times. <laughs> like, he's not geared up or anything. He's just a guy with a yeah. handgun. Hey, you know, when, when the chips are down. I guess, yeah. There's somebody over there. There's somebody over there. All right. Oh, yeah. Someone over there. Where? There. There. Oh, apparently it's someone over here. Oh, that's right. I'm still out of ammo with that gun. I need to fucking move. I need to get bullets. Uh, cover to cover. Like, this system is... is oh, God. Well, except for right there. Yeah, this system is pretty good, you know? Like, the point at cover and hold yeah. button? Yeah. I almost wondered if doing it that way gives you, like, some kind of bonus to evasion or something like that. Well, yeah, like that. Yeah, well... You get there I really fast, yeah. it looks like. Oh, oh shit, man. I guess that's the boss, right? Yeah, probably. 
Oh, you're on fire, fire and another icon. Oh, and my controls are ma matched, are, are bad. Oh yeah, I fucking hate that one. You, when you get confused, it Yeah, there's a, there's a status effect that straight up makes your controls play like shit. What? Like you don't have very good direct control of your character anymore. Huh. Like where you're it aiming. I might even swap movement, because I was moving yeah. in the wrong direction there for a little bit, but... Agent. <sighs> oh no. All right. Do you have to do that whole wave again? Yeah. Could you look at yeah, from the the few story missions that I've done playing by yourself, they feel like they go on just a tad too long. I've definitely had some side missions that I've been playing alone and and been like, I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I can do this. Yeah. Uh, or even if you can, it's just like, eh, maybe just a few too many enemies. Yeah. Another good reason to play with people. I'm trying. Yeah. Playing this much of a story mission and not having like any banter. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's... Like just hearing random enemies saying like "Go get them" and flank them is kind of jarring after a while when you realize there's nothing else being said. It's kind of what I was getting at earlier. The game's just kind of dry. Yeah. Like you really have to want to get loot. Play this. Yeah. Because like. Not a lot of value in like seeing more of the world, you know, because it's just kind of more dilapidated city. Yeah, I, I don't care about DC landmarks, uh, so the and, and and I don't I think they it's like they're trying to trade off the like oh man DC in distress. This is our nation's capital. <laughs> How can you, you know, like, it, 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 I, I just don't think that works because I don't, I don't think they're telling a, a very good story to make that stuff matter. Um. Blue. Do you know if there's any mechanic for getting you loot that you missed? I don't or do you think just miss so. It? I think you might just miss it. Oh man, it's rough. It's the whole point. Game. Gotta be on top of the loot. But don't let the loot get on top of you. Unless it's a hat. Well, yeah. To that end, they are, of course, selling cosmetics. Is that it? Uh, I think so. yeah, I, I think all the stuff is cosmetic in nature. Yeah, I notice you're wearing the starting shirt. Yeah. I don't know if that's because you haven't gotten any other shirts. I found, like, I've, I think I've found one cosmetic item. Okay. Uh, so far. Yeah, I got one, and I think it was a gun spray. And I was not pleased. Oh, like a skin for a gun, you mean? Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. not a piece of clothing. Right. I don't know how I'm feeling about your knee shorts and tank top look. It's, uh, it, I, this all fits into for sure the vibe I'm it's, going for with my the, guy. Yeah, that, that yes, sure. Ah! Oh wow! Yeah, you were a hair's breadth from dead there. It just happens in this game. Yeah. Shit. Uh. Check 
some of this shit out. Oh. Wait, did that not hit? It did some shield damage. Really ran that from one didn't hit. Alright. Got that fucking guy. Got that fucking guy. They got her left somewhere, yeah. I can't got that fucking guy. Oh, bullets. Looting before the encounter's over. Don't mind me. You missed that blue, though. Yeah. Oh, God, man, what a marathon. <laughs> uh, a lot, a lot of these missions are like that. Yep. Uh, they, they go. Ah, finally. Some rare lubrication. You know, it's been hard gel. to find after this collapse of society. Some nice lubrication gel. What kind of base are you working with? It's a water base. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we did that. That got us. Uh, I think there was there was a blueprint, and also uh, some of that currency for buying upgrades. The uh, JTEC. Yeah. So we got six of that. Let's head on over to the White House. Uh, yeah, you eventually unlock, uh, you know, the ability to start a clan and stuff like that. So I started one. It's open for people to join. And people have been joining up. And hopefully that means everyone will be able to get into games more easily or something. Um, uh, for story missions, it does have matchmaking right there. So you can kind of open up matchmaking and, and, and look, for a, uh, look for a team that's doing that mission. Um, the story missions, weirdly enough, have actually been the easiest thing in the game. Huh. Uh, because when you do them the first time, they're at something called story difficulty, <laughs> which is... Um, I'm going to turn off that call for backup. Agent in need of backup. Maybe we'll just join so someone else. Yeah, after you've got I, yeah. somebody. you got a guy calling right here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, let's see. I've got six points. Um, I can't... Get inventory three until I hit level thirty. Uh, before you spend it, you can you can also spend the Shay Tech on skills that you've already unlocked. Yes, yeah, so it for, takes right? uh, so it takes a that triangle. You need one of those to unlock the platform for the first time, and that's you get those for completing story missions. But once you have done that, if you want to unlock the other variants, that just costs five of your your more common currency. Uh, but I generally like the skills I have, and, yeah. and haven't really. Like, I switched up from the Pulse, um, which marks enemies. Uh, I used that in the first game all the time. It was really useful, and it seems way, way less useful here. Just the range on it seems bad. Like, it just it doesn't seem great. Um, chance for rare, rare material when deconstructing. Like, eh. Can hold more resources. I don't know that that's a problem. Uh, suppressors for Osprey 45. Eh, probably not. Bonus XP is probably a thing worth having. Yeah, that sounds good. Spend Why is it XP like a to keg? get XP. Because uh, it's like, hey, if you shot someone, if you destroyed an environmental object, oh, you get I bonus see. XP. Not dying for a long time will reward XP. Why not? Um, I have yet to put an item in my stash because I just haven't had enough gear. This seems like, you know, end game, late game, you're probably going to do way more of that, but so far, I haven't really needed it. Um... Can't put like a gun in there, or oh, I could put a ton of stuff in the stash if I wanted to, but I just I you haven't need, I, haven't I, yeah I'm selling and deconstructing stuff I don't use, so it's it hasn't been necessary. More optics options seems like it'd be good. Yeah, you I have. need to find Otis Sykes before I can unlock that. Different loadouts don't seem interesting at all to me. Um, games like this, I rarely I, you know Anthem same deal. Like I I never was using. Alternate loadouts. Uh, it's just like, okay, here's how I'm playing, and this works out well for me. I'll change it when I need to change it. Yeah, I mean that. It also seems more of an in-game, like a dark zone. Like you might have yeah, a, you might I have a dark if, zone yes, loadout. If you were spending more time in the dark zone, you might have your or some kind of dark zone loadout. Uh, uh, there are things like dark zone perks. So dark zone is a separate level and XP and everything. So I'm dark zone level three right now, uh, and the thing about dark zone XP is you gain and lose it. Um, 
as you play. Let's go into the dark zone. Yeah, yeah. I've, I I've yet to be in the dark zone outside of the tutorial mission that opens this up to begin with. So, um, the dark zone is a separate area where you will find other players just running around doing stuff, um, which you know generally doesn't happen here unless you've match made or called for backup or, or what have you. Um, in the Dark Zone, there are tougher AI enemies to fight. Uh, there's loot that drops, um, but you can't just walk out with the loot. The loot is contaminated. And so you have to extract the loot um, by finding an extraction point. And, uh, you know, a helicopter flies in to take your guns away and clean them for you. Are you in it already? Uh, this There's like a there's kind of a buffer zone here, okay. but we're, we're heading in. You should be able to just take them in big Ziploc bags. That's, yeah. Um... Oh, was that an extraction about to take place up there? Where? 13 seconds. Oh, you're right, yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Do you know if, can you group with people after you're in there and you meet them in there? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Normalized stats. Okay. So here's our stash. I don't have anything in it. Um, but actually, I should check my inventory here because I think I did get some kind of item, didn't I? All right, that's worse than the thing I'm wearing. Joke it. Uh, ooh, I found a new weapon mod. Freedom package. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. 5% blast radius, but uh, requires skill power 301. My skill power is 77. <laughs> So it seems like you have to spec in that direction. Oh, you got a box. Yeah. Uh, when you level up, sometimes you get a box that gives you two items that are at your current level. Hmm. Blue armor. All right. That's better. Let's equip that and flag that as junk. And then what was the gun? What do you do with junk? Uh, you can deconstruct it for crafting materials or you can sell it. Wait, I thought there was a level 12 gun. Oh, it's a pistol? pistol? Okay, cool. I've oh, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen a, a pistol. <laughs> Skin that pistol. <laughs> and I guess I don't have any micro optics to put on that thing. So, all right. Did you get the skin from a box? Um, I don't remember. Honestly, um, you got a holster as well. Oh, you know what? You occasionally get so we can go into the store and. Oh, it's crazy. So gosh, uh, yeah, you will occasionally find apparel cash keys, and that lets you open this once, and you'll get emotes and stuff like that, random emotes out of these. I see. You can also spend currency to buy the keys if you like. I want to say you can spend your you play whatever point reward points. To get keys. Uh, okay. Once. Think. Yeah, oh, you, only you, once? You, yeah, you can get like one key that okay. way. Um, which I think is how I got some of this stuff. But yeah, then, then it's still like, hey, I've got a few pairs of pants. Some high end honor guard Whoa. pants here. Okay. This should but, be four honor guards. Yeah. Um, Missed opportunity. Well, I mean, there is like a Rainbow Six Siege thing here. Okay. But, you know. All right. Uh, you, you got a new holster that you didn't equip. Oh, really? Okay. Let's take a look. Oops, oops, oops. That is better. Let's deconstruct all our junk. Do it. Okay. All right. right. Protective fabric. So wait, I'll, before you back out, that, that radial, that level 12 with the three yeah. under your name, is that dark zone level? <laughs> Are those different levels? <laughs> 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 That's a great question. Yeah, I haven't um, quite figured out what all those mean yet. I am Dark Zone level three. Okay, so one of those three. Oh, so could the blue, mean that. maybe the blue is Dark Zone. Could the two be your? There's also conflict. There's level? also conflict, which uh, is like a new multiplayer a new mode. Multiplayer mode that I I can't I I don't know. I have not tried it. I think it's more straight deathmatch and other competitive modes. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it. Um, So this is a co-op competitive sort of thing. Uh, by default, you are a good guy, and you're out there, and every other player you meet is a good guy. But 
Uh, you can shoot other players and go rogue at any point. <sighs> You're the bad agent. Yeah, and uh, you know, basically that means you're stealing their loot. And so it's, it's this back and forth for loot and who can extract the loot. And if you stay out of the way long enough, your rogue timer ticks down and eventually you're flagged as good again. Uh, but you know, if you go rogue too long and too hard, you eventually become disavowed and that makes you more visible to other players who have an incentive uh, to track you down and kill you. Um, and, you know, that, that's the basic gameplay loop in the Dark Zone. Uh, it's a cool idea that I didn't spend a ton of time with in the first game. Um, yeah, this is the closest to the kind of in-game thing I want out of a loot game, which is just a competitive place to put your loot to the test, right? Yeah. Yeah. Against other players? Oh, I, like guess a, I, can like just, I guess I can just push... Kind of. I can, guess I can just push buttons to go rogue, huh? It's like real life. Yeah, so if you want to do it instead of shooting players, I, I assume shooting players still will do it. <laughs> instead, you could just declare yourself bad. I'm bad! I'm bad! I'm going rogue! I'm bad! I'm not a good guy! I'm not here to make friends. Ah, oh, wait, changed my mind. Did you go rogue? No. I don't want to tip my hand. I want to, like, be friendly with someone for a while and then be like, like what's up? Like, emote at them a couple times. Yeah. Do you remember, like, from the first game, would a lot of people go solo into the Dark Zone? Because it seems like the kind of thing most people would want to group up for. You would but... probably want to group up for it, yeah. but, um... But, yeah. It's, uh, pretty quiet here on a Thursday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Well, we can go look at Landmarks. There's something called the grave over here. Oh, is it the Eternal Flame? Or what's it called? Maybe. Not my favorite. Uh, wait, okay. That landmark disappeared, and now another one. Did you take fall damage from that? You can, yeah. From that? That was like six feet. I hurt my ankle. Jesus. Apex has ruined me. <laughs> It says landmark hard. Hmm. Does it point you toward the resources you're looking for, or are they you just randomly find them? It's a good question. We've been running around and haven't seen shit yet, so uh, I don't know what to make of it. Okay, apparently there's some kind of way to get down. Hmm. Hey, but Jeff, yeah, it's not easy. That's why it says hard. Oh, it's hard to get down. Hmm. Maybe if you just die and wait, they'll bury you. Okay. Can you... Hmm. Can you climb some of that stonework you just ran by? Yeah. Like where the icon is? Yeah, but it's, it's below me. I know, but I mean, maybe there's like oh, an entrance yeah. up there. You're saying you've got to get up to get down. Exactly. Yeah, that one's too high. Hmm. Hear a voice. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's run away from it and see if another landmark shows up somewhere else. Uh, I feel like at least the dark zone here, at least uh, the east dark zone, there are three. Uh, like looks and feels fairly different from. Yeah, I was gonna the say I kind of I like you know? how kind of gross everything looks here. Yeah, this um, is the vibe I was. They were seriously going for with all the trailers and stuff. Was like, uh, you know, overgrown, overgrown yeah. roughage, and oh, here's an extraction point. But you didn't get. I don't have anything. Any yeah. gear? Oh, weird. Well, I think it would be less weird if, uh, the game were more... You know what we might also be running into? Um... Nah, restrictions? No. So I'm in player bracket 10 to 19. Oh. Uh, 
the game has not been out very long. Yeah. I have been playing quite a bit of it and am level 12 now. Oh, wow. Whereas the starting bracket is 1 to 9. Right. So it might be that all the other players are lower level. That on top of the game not having its wide release right. until tomorrow. Yeah. Like, so I'm guessing that's why we're not running into other humans out are you, here. Oh, you have way more armor in here. Yeah. Look at that meter. Yeah, it seems like you just tipped over into the next bracket, right? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, so in, until more players do that, we you know we won't see a lot of people. Um, whatever, I'm sure there are people that have finished the story right now. I'm not out here going like, oh yeah, I finished it fast, but you know. Um, I wonder if that's you know like backup calls and stuff like that. If it's just a function of like, hey, the game is not necessarily out to a ton of people yet. I wonder if you find more resources in here if you mix it up more. Like, because otherwise, if they didn't tie the gains of the Dark Zone to combat, then people could just wait for off hours and run in here and get a ton of stuff, right? When nobody was around? That's, yeah, you could do that. Or, or, uh, or do they allow that? Well, and presumably players well, from also around the world. Your inventory be... uh, for contaminated items is very low. It's okay. like a three. Oh, okay. So, you know, you... You have to ex you'll you'll have to extract repeatedly, okay. which you know yeah off hours or if the game isn't popular or if you're playing on a you know platform that's not popular, yeah you'll, you'll have a detected. you'll have a, an easier time. Did that um, pull up the that map the map again and hover over the grave? It said faction undiscovered, which I'm oh, curious about. Weird. Huh. I, the part on the right was highlighted before, but uh, that is grayed out now. Let's go over here and see what we succeed. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to see what we see. Yeah, maybe the, maybe right now would be the right time to try to get a bunch of loot. The game's not out for another <laughs> handful of hours. Or, or I mean, it is out, but you know, the $60 version Oop. is not out. Oh, shit. Is that a player? No. The player hater. And look at that guy's outfit. Yeah. I love that we've gone through the extremes of not enough dudes to shoot and just <laughs> way too many dudes to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Don't call me a bastard. Ah! Uh -oh. What the fuck? Whoa! You got static shocked. I guess you better armor up. Yeah. Reloading. On the move. Yeah, it looks like a larper. Yeah, it kind of does. But you know, if you were uh, living your life in a contaminated <laughs> zone, that. Ah! People on both sides, I think. Give me the other gun, god damn it! Okay. So, can you assume that these enemies are on, they predict on average that you're gonna be fighting, you're gonna be level like 15, because this is the 10 to 19 bracket, so they're gonna tool the enemies to I, they, do they so they, they use normalization is what okay. they call it to try to make people, everyone that's in this bracket is is roughly doing the same amount of damage okay. uh, to make it fair, um, or in an attempt to make it fair, I guess I should say. Oh, shit. Oh, Man. you're uh, on fire. I'm on fire. Hey, Jeff. Yeah? You're on fire. Okay. This is not messing around. Must be the shoes. All right, mental note, get that armor grenade before I go in the dark zone. <laughs> that seems really useful. Yeah. I'm confused. I'd be confused too.
Okay, so I guess I thought the Dark Zone was mostly about fighting other players. It seems like it's more of a PvPVE right. situation. Which probably makes more sense. So anything that ah. drops in here is going to be contaminated? Right. Okay. And do you know if there are things that you can get that do not drop off of enemies? Are there like caches scattered around or anything? Uh, well, that's probably what's in, in those... In the first game there was, yeah. That's probably what's in those purple locations. Yeah. Oh, yep, they're all around. Oh, Fuck! Shit. This is not good. Oh, oh, Fuck! This is about to be go bad. So those armor packs will fill, fill you up. Fill you up? Yeah, they fill up the armor. Okay. Um, I... <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah. Got someone over in that direction. Okay, looks like they're both roughly in that direction now. Okay. Car. Car's here. So if your Dark Zone tier is tied to your base player level, what does the Dark Zone level do? Uh, you unlock Dark Zone perks. So if you oh. die in the Dark Zone, you lose XP. Okay. Um, and as you level up in the Dark Zone, you will gain some new abilities. I see. Is there oh, it's just probably just one guy and the thing that's showing on my map are these fucking cars, huh? Pop a drone? Yeah. Is this guy? Aha! Oh, I just love cars. Oh, he's a named. Not anymore. Was a named. All right. All right. Are you able to see what? Dar oh wow! You almost hit another dark zone level. Yeah. Landmark. Clear. Uh, in the tu initial tutorial, you hit. Level three. Oh, okay. Are you able to see what uh, Dark Zone perks you have active right now? Uh, oh, you did? Jeez. Perk tier two. Perk tier uh, two. The, the first perk. I, oh, I, it says down there available at the yeah, White House. Yeah. Um, so let's try and extract. Okay, let's go to this one. Seems like it should be pretty easy, right? Haven't seen another human player yet. <sighs> one would hope. But if I were a human player, and I am, uh, sometimes I would just hang out by extraction, wait for people to come yeah. up, wait, you know, because you get alerted when a helicopter's coming in. Yeah, man. And so I, you're just like, okay, I'm going to go over there and murder the guy who's there. If I get deep into this game, I might want to posse up and yeah. cause some shit in here. That sounds fun. I want to say that extraction will also bring enemies in. I don't remember. <laughs> sure hope not. Minute 20, huh? Yeah. And then even when the helicopter gets here, you have to run up to the rope. Yeah, enemies are coming in. You have to run up to the rope and attach your gear to it and... Hey. Hey, stop. <laughs> What the fuck did he do? What happened I, to him? Uh, hmm. Wait, is there another player? Oh no. Yeah, there's totally somebody over there. Uh, but I'm... Oh, shit. Is that also another player? No, that was not. Okay. Shit. Man. So all my reds are over here. So that that's gonna be player... Or that's gonna be... Whoa! Oh, shit. Holy <laughs> fuck, man. Dude. Oh, man. That's bad. This is pretty tense. That's a person. That's a person. Yeah, fuck, man. I would just like hide. I don't know if he saw you or not. Maybe he's trying to extract also. Oh. That's the thing, is we're friends until we're not. Oh, okay. So you Shoot would. Up. If he had already gone bad, you would know. Yes. Okay. Jeff. 
Shoot him. I need to extract this gear. I would not, yeah, I would not risk it. The gear sucks. Being rogue is way cooler than any gear you can get. That's why they make so many games about rogue. Hey, do you need to use this too? Shoot him now, shoot him now, shoot him now, shoot him. No, no, get him, get him, get him, no. Get his gear. Don't do that. I want my gear. You can get his gear. Kill we're him we're gonna be friends. All the gear. Oh, it still doesn't leave immediately? Exactly, because other players can come up and do stuff. So we can Fuck cut, I can that. cut the rope and, and end the extraction. Oh my god. And then everyone's just fighting for the gear again. Wow. And then you have to go to another extraction point? Yeah, to start or, over? or like leave this one long enough yeah, for yeah, it to yeah. do Man, its thing. That is savage. Yeah, it's... It's fucking cool. It's like a really cool idea. I, I just didn't have enough time to really spend a ton of time with the game and get really good at this stuff and form a group and stuff. But like the clan stuff is better in this game. There, you know, it exists. Um, and and the way the stuff seems built seems like it'd be easier for a player to get a crew together and 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 do some dirt. Yeah, I want to try this. There we go. Okay, I mean, well, I've made a mental note here of who's allowed in my. My rogue gang, and who's not? So you got what a backpack and something else? Yeah, there's a breather. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I have to assume the drop rates are somehow better in here, because otherwise, yeah, why totally. would you waste I mean, your time? Yeah, the whole thing is is you fighting over gear, and you know, like the the gear seems like it's potentially better. Yeah. Yay! All right. I was like, there's no way this is gonna do that, but it does it. It does it. Just it rings like a fucking bell. Shoot it with a different gun. Mm, same thing. Different bullets would cause yeah, different sounds. Yeah. I think. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to posse up. With yeah, uh, I'm I'm trying to get out. Yeah. So we're gonna hold down and, and decline here. Do you have to just physically run out of the zone? Yeah. Um, so I I wonder what these checkpoints that lead into a part of the game that isn't available <laughs> yeah. actually do. Because uh, yeah, they're saying all the content add-ons are free for this game. Well, there is some so, there is some kind of year one pass, and and so my, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the yeah. My, my understanding is generally the big thing is you just get seven day early access yeah. to all the content. With that, I'm sure there are, you know maybe some like t-shirts, some apparel that comes along with that, or like an extra gun yeah. here and there. Maybe, but like I, the thing I was seeing on like the subreddit was people very strongly going like, don't buy the the expensive version of this. Yeah, it, like, it didn't seem like the the what you got. Uh, for the expensive versions, other than being able to play on Monday night instead of Thursday night. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't seem like it's worth $20. Yeah, I'll do one more. Never buy the very expensive version. Yeah, it's not often worth it. You know, if it's like, hey, it's gameplay relevant stuff that you were probably going to buy anyway and it's more of a bundle, like I can oh, yeah, sure. a bundle. see it. Nothing wrong with a bundle. I mean, when they're charging for all the DLC, it totally makes sense if you were going to buy it all anyway. You don't reward them for making all the content free. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the right answer is actually. Uh, so it said exit dark zone, but I wonder. Well, I wonder if you just okay. So I can. So there's a cell. Oh, and here's can you, my like, staff. Fast so, travel from so, here. Yeah, maybe I can. So did the stuff you got get decontaminated already? Um, yeah, I did because those two yeah, categories it's, it's, are. It's here in deliveries. Uh. Or wait, is everything you get not contaminated? Because I'm pretty sure you picked up a breather in there, and it yeah. says you have a new breather. I think by leaving the dark zone, maybe I got it? Yeah, because that's it. Huh. I think. All right, let's, uh, let's look at the loot. Nope, see, hold down the button. There we go. Uh, all right, that's better. Better than that. Hazard protection. Yeah, so there are set bonuses. Uh, that is not better than that. It's cooler. It's not better. Uh, I feel like there was a third thing, wasn't there? Maybe not. Oh. This. That's significantly better. I don't like that it says 1.3k. I want to see a large number. Yeah. Incoming backup request. And yeah, can I fast travel now that I'm in this checkpoint? I can. Sweet. I cannot. 
No. I can't. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the White House and we'll see what the second tier of Dark Zone perk looks like. And then we'll call it a day. I'm liking it. Yeah. So far. Uh, you know, I think, yeah, what, like we've said, I, I think the story is really flat so far and. and World design, too. Yeah. Uh, and, and there are aspects of it that I think are a little monotonous for sure. Um, but I think there's a good variety to the activities, at least. Yeah. Even if the environment and storytelling isn't tremendous. Uh, but, you know, like, I, I also think this game will, you know, I think a lot like the first game will be mad divisive uh, because it is. Like, for as much as people have given cover shooters and, and stuff like that, like a, a rap for just all the spongy enemies that take forever to kill, I feel like this game maybe brings that to a new level in some ways. Uh, but some of that is dictated by gear, right? I mean, yeah. you know, if you if you have the right gear, you, you drop enemies faster. Like, the, the weapon, like changing a weapon out will, will be pretty meaningful. Um, okay, so yeah, so my first tier one one was, hey, an, an additional s space for one more item in when... I'm getting contaminated items. And some of this stuff will be like bonuses depending on whether you play more rogue or whether you play more not rogue. So 25% bonus XP for killing other players. 25% XP for clearing landmarks. 25% XP for surviving a rogue timer. Hmm. Can you highlight the lower tiers or the higher tiers, I should say? Yeah. Daily rewards from the safe house. Reduction in time to complete road a rogue actions. So that's like shorter time to cut the rope, I assume. Oh, huh. Uh, and shit like that. Rogue cooldown reduced. That seems like it'd be good. Um, There's a ton of them. A 50% chance to just... Okay, automatically secure when you die. It's okay, so like if you die, you might not lose all your items. That seems useful. Uh, more keys. So yeah, there, you'll find there are dark zone keys and all that sort of stuff. Higher chance oh, to get agents. grenades. Different nameplate visibility options. Additional rewards. More daily rewards. 10%. Yeah, just better a chance of items dropping. Faster extraction arrival time. Damn. That Manhunt bounty clearing. Faster revive. And you're not rogue. Thieves' Den triangulation. What? All right. I'm not quite sure you. what that is, but okay. Seems like a lot of dark zone to play. Yeah. To get all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I didn't actually pick up. Um, eliminating other players seems like the... Are these binding, I wonder? Um, I wonder no, you can, you can respec. Okay. And also, if you die a bunch and your level goes down, you lose access to these perks. Right, right. So, so there's that, too. That's cool. I gotta spend some time in there. Yeah, I'm excited to check this out. Yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's a good time. And then there's uh, one last thing I guess here is the clan stuff, um, which doesn't unlock until you finished a few story missions, and it's all the way down here. Um, oh, oh, in the West Wing. Oh, hi. It's East Wing technically. Oh. Um, yeah, so you can start and configure a clan. Uh, oh, look, it's that agent. Oh, look, it's that agent. Um, and so this clan has hit level three, and now we have access to a vendor in here, too, oh. that is selling stuff. Uh, so every vendor will just have different stuff. Um, so kind of depending on what you're looking for, you might have to just run around a bunch, which is kind of weird. But... Um, yeah, it seems like items, you know, like the items you can buy are often better than the shit you have equipped. So there's there's that. So it, it seems like there are reasons to spend the currency and and a lot of stuff like that, uh, which is kind of cool. CXP. I assume that's campaign XP. Hmm. Man. Or is it clan XP? Oh, you know what? It's probably clan XP. You're probably right. Fraxic is... Uh, Cleaning up. Really it's a lot. It's a high it, number. Doing it big. It's a big number. I don't even know how you do that. Um, you yeah, you got some, okay, so there are projects that'll help tear up your clan and all that other stuff, and, and this stuff seems like fairly well-formed, you know, when we go into the the clan menu here, you can kind of see 
who's online and what they're doing. Oh, shit. I'm level 24 already. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a gear score. So oh, Fraxic wow. has hit the level cap. Jeez. Is, I suppose, the, the situation there. Uh, all right. People putting in work. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's, sure. a good, it's a good kind of clan to be in. Promote some clan officers, I suppose, for, for the work they're putting in. Anyway, that's the Division 2. Yeah. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. So far. I, I found it a lot more approachable and just kind of off the bat more engaging than the first one. Yeah. For sure. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Ben.